Hey guys, this is BenRob0329, and today I'm introducing a brand new series called AMs. Now, AMs is a series where a bunch of mind test content creators and I gather together on a single server and build a world together. Right now, that world is a modded mind test game. However, we may be playing other games or scenarios in the future. This episode starts off with Jordik and I looking for a place to start building up some basics. So I'll let past me get on with that. All right. It's time to get walking. Yeah. Oh wow, we just got the flattest piece of map gen I've ever seen. Like, this is nice, but we need trees. Excuse me, I'm just robbing the natural terrain of all of its food. I know. Ah, pumpkin. Local man starts farming immediately. <laughs> well, that is what I call a cave, but I'm not bearing it. Giant vertical gorge. A doom. It's just doom down there. Most likely. No, it's just a gravel mount. It's mm. the first time I've seen water. I'm just going to climb this thing and see what's up there. server is probably not too happy about map gen. No, it seems most unhappy. This is a freaking tall gravel Oh my word. This isn't just a mountain. This is a mountain. This is a mound of gravel. And it's still going. Mm-hmm. This is a volcano. Of gravel. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. It's actually a volcano. Oh, the mod actually gave us something decent, did it? Yes. I, mm, I have no idea what that red stuff is, and I'm, I'm daring to touch it. Oh, it's not actually spicy at all. This is disappointment, but I can't dig it. Okay, so back down we go. Yes. Um, okay, I have a jungle tree sapling. Right, we can now actually look to getting it. I see a forest to our west. No, to the north. Regular forest. We're out of here, lad. Just sprint. <laughs> Just gun <done> for. <laughs> I'd rather not die the moment we get there. Oh dear. Ow. Have a couple of cucumbers if you want them. That's the last cucumber, by the way. I have some beetroots. Eh. Meh. How'd you get stuck? There was a hole. Oh my god. Yeah. Local man can't build bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Local man falls, the clips through bridge. Physics in question. Try that. There, someone will know we've been here. But they won't know who. And they don't know when. Okay, this is better. This looks alright. Just 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 jump in the water. Alright, we're out of that hell. Then there's food here. Like farming plus food. Like, we could just start here. It's got a good supply of water. And trust me, you don't want to keep going further. Does it get Guess worse? Um, I see a boatload of evergreens. Ah. Snow. Yes. Do you want to stay here or go over there? It's snow. We're going to be another 45 minutes trudging through snow if we go, if we keep going. I think here's good enough. Tell you the truth, this is good enough here. There's a nice hill to build one over there. I think here's good enough, to be honest with you. Just build into the hillside. I think here works. Alright. 
obviously we're going to have to get digging somehow. I am bad at inventory management. Uh, we should have a farming area, probably over by the water. But that means walking. Yeah, but there's water right here. But this still means walking. Right. I'm going to have to look... I'm going to go start digging, maybe? Alright, I'm going to set up a farming area over here. Right, I'm, I'm going to do it near the chest. Well, here, not too long, we should be able to craft some beds. You're going to be a while. Probably a few in-game days. You know, I've never quite figured out what the best way to build a farm is, as far as water placement. One node, and then see how far it'll pick up by the hoe. The... And then you can tile that. Okay, so water travels three nodes in. Mm hmm. So it's seven by seven plots, I'm thinking. Like this. There you go. And then just fill that hole up with water whenever you get water. We're gonna cheat. There we go. Hmm, okay. So we're playing with water mechanics now, are we? Yes. And placing the wrong note. <laughs> right, I'm going back upstairs to go digging. I'm gonna go diggy diggy holes. Uh, wheat seed and... The cotton seed you're looking for. There we are. Like, I'm just doing simple node harvesting at the minute. Simple, but it works. The weed is growing faster than the cotton. <laughs> that I put bone mill on. I put bone mill on the cotton, but the wheat is already at like stage three. Or is that stage tonight one? I just tonight. This makes Ben Rob today's biggest loser. <laughs> <laughs> RNG was not with you. And there goes the pickaxe. I feel like I'm going to have to bring spares at this point. Okay. The cotton has finally started to grow. Now it's going to take another week to grow the next stage. Most likely. Oh, I'll find some gravel. And then we... And then that doesn't even make one wool block. Hey. No. But if it gives you another seed, the mm -hmm. process gets a bit faster. Yeah, it'll probably give me a few seeds. There's one thing I can say I like about farming in MTG. It starts off really slow, but then it just explodes. Kinda like the subscriptions to T series, if you ask me. <laughs> this thing shouldn't be too much thicker. Oop, da da da. Hey, we're through. In the jungle. Okay, does Bowmail just make like? normal plants grow? I have no idea how it's implemented. Because I have s I have seen it do nothing to this cotton, but every time I use it, it places like flowers and crap. That might actually be just all it does. Okay, I've got bone meal, which we know doesn't do what we want. Uh, we've got mulch, and we've got fertilizer. So let's see what mulch does. Okay, mulch. 
doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Fertilizer makes grass grow tall. In essence, you've been had. I'll just mulch these and see what happens. Actually, let me look it up. I think you've been scammed. Oh, you know what? Am I supposed to... Yes, okay. So are we feeling really stupid for this one or no? I was punching the soil underneath, not <laughs> the plant itself. Top tier brain. Mensa quality. And I actually think I got enough cotton from that to make one more block. Nice. One out of six. Mm hmm. And I think we'll get that there. mulch can also be used, and that you can make from trees and crap. Yes, okay. We don't have to use bone meal. We can use mulch instead, which is made from leaves and trunk. To basically uh, insta grow things. Come on, follow me. I've already set my spawn point. Yes, I've gone quite a ways down. Ah. I brought mm. literally no tools. We'll go get some. I'll get us an escape. There we are. So I don't know if anything's down there because I'm out of torches. Yes, it's dark in here. Oh, there's water. That means there's probably not going to be any mobs right here. Also. Yeah, I got a bit of a distrust for that. Okay, nothing can dive bomb us from the roof. I've torched up, hang on. I can quickly damn this if you want. Usually, <clears throat> DMs won't spawn unless it's a big flat area. So if you find a big flat area, probably best to stay away. Outside of that, we should be fine. Oh. Okay. Oh. I thought oh, that Leo. I thought that plateaued. I was about to be like, well oh. crap. All torches. Ooh. Oh. What's this then? Is it's it just mud? Shell. Oh shale. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, so more coal. Oh, that's a big drop. Caution. Yes. Big drop. Hang on. Let me make sure that none of this is going to fall yeah. on me. Oh, there's water. Right. That's a safe way down. I've got almost a full stack of torches. So have I. Well... That's a drop, but there's water. Oop, slow it, slow it. This is where we take it easy. Ah, bugger. Yeah, don't put it too close to the water. And there's more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is uh, anything but Mapgen V6's caves. Or Hang on. Big vertical no, no, drops. No no no, 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 I saw something in the fog. Oh dear. I don't have Never any mind. binoculars. Never mind, that may have just been my some dirt on the monitor. Yeah, no, I thought maybe I saw a, a, a big square thing. But I don't no, think so. No, I see a little grey hole. Yeah. Where the 
sky has gone grey, but no, that's just water waving in the distance. Better hope intuition's right here, because one wrong move and we're going all the way back up again. Yep. I mean, I've fought dungeon masters with my bare hands, but, you know, it's not easy. Got these buffed ones, at least. This thing is ginormous. Okay, now this I'm a bit worried about. Because it's big and flat. You'll be right. As long as you back it up after you do each maneuver. Incoming. Yeah, back it up. That was a fireball. Oh, I see him up there. Okay, one second. He's a stone one, isn't he? How much damage did he do? Uh, not that much. Reduced me down oh. about half, but it wasn't a direct hit. Alright. Okay, so then Ready for this? Master. But if you want to die... Yeah, four, 45 health. Now we're back in now. You want to die? I mean we can use his brakes, or we can leave. One hit, run. One hit, run. Well, your intuition was correct. Oop. Any loot? Uh, no. See, this is the problem, because mobs are not cool. They are much more of a threat. And now I have no food. Oh, I got some apples. Uh, that'll work. I mean, I'm good for a while if I don't, if we don't run into another one. What do you think for the walls? Stone brick? Hmm. Thinking we have a lot of quartz over here we could probably make use of. Well, we could always turn it into quartz pillars. Ooh, that's better. And I'm thinking probably like stone brick, or not stone brick, uh, stone block oh, yeah. for the floor. Mm, that looks a little cheap though, doesn't it? Not, not all of the wall though, not all. Just where the torches go. Oh, alright. Dark Age Certified Mad Lad. Ready? How about these? Hmm. Not bad. We should probably break it up a little bit, though. Is there another block that's similar that we could break it up with? I mean, um, normal stone brick. That could work, too. If you want to get the furnace rolling. Or moon brick. How do you make that? Oh, normal brick and a stone block. I think that's probably best for breaking it up a bit. Because it looks almost the same. Mm -hmm. Well, we have plenty of clay in the drawers. Uh, what should we do for the roof? Uh, not sure. I'm liking the wood here. The wood, actually, the wood doesn't look bad for the roof, but we need something else for the floor. Mm. Something a bit more substantial than just planks. Because planks don't look half bad for the roof. Hmm. Now that might be a problem. The brick textures don't quite line up. 
Oh, but you know what? We can alternate. Uh, no, I prefer it when it's mirrored, actually. Yeah. Also, you can't dig this with a stone pickaxe. Oof. Okay, bronze pickaxe. Yeah, the floor's up next. Question is, what do we make the floor out of? Let me flip through the craft guide quick to see what we got. There's a snow biome over there. Eh, but snow biomes don't have ice. We need to find a tundra to find a bunch of ice. Because then we could make packed ice, which is blue. Um, Which might be interesting. It. Uh, but we'd have to probably travel for ways to find one. We could just have a look. Yeah. That might be shale. No, it's silt. What can you make with silt? Just silt. Not useful. Uh, you can bake it into mud. And with mud, you can make slate. Slate. Okay, we cook mud. Okay, yeah, that works. Slate doesn't look too bad, actually. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and comment down below for any suggestions you might have. Thanks for watching.